Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back yet again to Honest Jay Nowak. And now, I'm once again going to apologize for the fact that, well, new material hasn't really been coming through as often, even just one episode on a daily basis hasn't quite seemed to work as well as I thought it would. It's probably because of, well, how I've been trying to get up to 1600 videos before the Kappa effect would start to come in, but... I guess, since I'm in the clear from that problem in life, I feel like it'd be the right time to get back to it. And so, why don't I just go ahead and get started by talking about smog. Yes, quite a big thing in history has been pollution. The way it's been escalating for more than 115 years, it's just really mind-boggling to actually suspect that such high levels of pollution, which are mainly caused by the kinds of industrial plants, facilities that we commonly use every day, for the production of most materials, most machinery, and most utensils, and other types of things that we commonly use in our everyday life. And of course, the big consequence here is that these kind of plants and facilities that do use fossil fuels they end up fueling out emissions, releasing them into the atmosphere. And the fact is, is that air pollution is otherwise known as smog. And smog, of course, has been a recurring problem throughout history. But here in recent times, depending on the city you live in, it has been absolutely dangerous to millions of people. It, of course, can do some devastating damage to your respiratory system and some other parts of the body as well. But I guess the big concern here is the fact that more and more people are wanting to move into the big cities like San Francisco, NYC, Dubai, Tokyo, and the like. I mean, a lot of these really high, dense, populated cities around America and the rest of the world they're of course getting larger in terms of population, but the sad truth is is that it's going to compound the amount of pollution that gets emitted every single year. The amount of cars that end up burning fuel, the kinds of industrial plants, including nuclear power, coal burners, and mining operations and the like, they happen to really aggravate the problem even more so than it did many years ago. But of course, the sad thing is, is that urban lifestyle has been a huge thing in people's lives. It's something that people want to do nowadays. And of course, the big thing about me not wanting to go into urban areas because of just that. Smog is that dangerous. So dangerous, in fact, that if I just stepped into a certain city around America that happens to have some really foggy sort of atmospheric conditions in them, I could just automatically assume that it's smog. Certainly because the higher likelihood of it being the fact that because of how higher the populations have been growing, that's just that. The more industrial plants end up burning fuel, that's just how pollution gets larger every year. And of course, who could forget the fact that a recent analysis even concluded that pollution had been considered responsible for melting a lot of polar ice caps across both the poles over the last 40 years. Though I will say for sure that with enough time, with enough study, we should be able to find a way to counteract against these pollutants. The way that people have been using these kind of pollutant in seeing pieces of machinery and the like, it's just a mind blow. So that's just the main reason why I wouldn't go into the city like that, but then again, there's a lot of other things to consider other than just the kind of pollution that gets emitted every year. <sighs> but anyway, I guess it's pretty much just time for me to move on. There's a lot more to come, and I mean a lot. I guess the big thing is that 
There's going to be more episodes that I want to make soon. But I guess it all depends on what I got in mind. But until then, if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.